Hello and welcome, this is Tyrant DA and we're back with XCOM 2. So last time we ran into the Berserker Queen and she wrecked us. As probably you can see by all these soldiers that now are not available. Most of my specialists, which is the annoying thing. So, right now we're just going to have a go and see what we can do. So we've got seven days left on the Iridium, we've got a couple of days left on that. So we're just going to go here and go find so we've got intel right so let's go get this scientist over here that's going to be a good thing i think if we go over there and get the scientist uh i'm not sure if we should try one of the missions probably we should go try one of the missions so we uh, advanced warfare uh, advanced ad mechanized warfare uh, so we completed development Assign new project. And um, we've got a new guy. Ah, yes, because I customized some of my guys, so I get custom ones. There we go. So, reinforced frame, additional weakness identified during XCOM's field development should further improve the Starks unit's availability. Uh, that's the secondary gun. Heavy weapons, platforms uh, for our troops, additional reinforcements, a few mounted movements, possibly using this for heavy weapons. Spark. 20 years ago, okay. Oh, I wonder what those two were there for. Uh, ah, so we've got to actually build the sp Oh no, we got it, and then we got to build one. Okay. So where is our spark? Here it is. So we... There's not much customization. Uh, so the props are that you get one of each, and it's either... So it's either you get the padding or you don't. And that's basically for all of it. So yeah, I like the padding because it reminds me of the old XCOM ar armor out in the original. So we're probably going to use him in the next mission, definitely. Definitely we'll use him in the next mission. Uh, so let's just see how long until all these scientists are done. Uh, okay, so a lot of them are recovering from their wounds quickly. Ah, construction of the lightweight and special duration scales for the Viper King. The serpent suit greatly enhances our soldiers' flexibility and speed. It also features a grappling mechanic infused with the Viper's frigid vermin, frigid vermin, which can be used to pull enemies out of cover and freeze them in place. One serpent suit has been added to your inventory. So definitely don't want to lose that, but definitely want to use it as well. So among the last of the holdouts in this area, a small group of resistance fighters known as the Fire Axis may made contact while we were scanning the region. One of our soldiers claims to have known several members of the exclusive group and was able to recruit one of their scientists to join Dr. K T Tegan's team. There we go. So we've got that now. So we're just going to finish making contact with this region and then we're going to probably try and make contact with the next region as well. Okay, there we go. Still very loud, this cutscene. Incredibly loud. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, well, let's just carry on and do this. So that's a couple of extra supplies. So I'm just wondering if we should try and make contact with this region. I'm thinking that we install Radio Tower. And do that for three days. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do. Yes, assign new research. So pause this if you want it. So what do we get? Iridium conductor increase the power relay output. That it? Ah, we got <laughs> we got some new research. So looks like we got to go with the psionics. All right. Incoming transmission. Let's view. Okay. One engineer, which we need. Unknown enemy and muton. Advent officer, elite trooper, heavy mech, codex, viper, unknown enemy and muton. So we probably got the berserker queen again. Because I think they appear in order. Either that or we got the other guy. I don't know. Hopefully... 
We've got all of them. Spark is ready for combat. Yes, we are using him. Sorry, Sniper, but I would really like to use the Spark at the moment. So we're just going to use the Spark. So we've got a rocket launcher. Um, we're going to remove this person, I think, because she's basically at the level we want her. So what we want to do is then go back and train the other specialist, which we'll be using. Uh, apart from that, I think we might swap this one out for someone else. Let's swap her out, remove the frost axe, um, and just use a different ability. So where is, so we want the other ranger, there he is, and then we want the axe, and we want that. Um, right. Actually, let's remove the heavy weapon specialist as well. Hold on, what am I doing? I want all my best guys. I want my best guys, not, not the guys that I want to train, because we've got an unknown, haven't we? Uh, what am I doing? Um, uh, right. Ranger. Load out. That. And that. Sorry about this. This is taking forever. It should not take this long. I should have just stuck with it. Um, right. Where is my... There is my specialist. I want to give her medic kit. I also want to give this guy the frost bomb. Um, I also want to see if I can build items, weapons. So I can't upgrade that, unfortunately, armor, um, uh, and I can't upgrade that. So I have no idea how strong this mech is going to be. Might not actually be that strong. I like the walking animation though, that's cool. I do like the fact that we can have an army of mechs now. Because they, I can churn those out so that if guys die I can use them instead. Some of them are not in the, they're not in the thing. So we've got to rescue the VIP. Okay, so rescue the VIP. Operation Heaving Mask. Heaving? Yeah, Heaving Mask. Okay, so let's just go in and see what we can do. So we've got mostly our best squad, I think. Um, right. Let's see. So what have we got? Uh, that's going to be annoying if he gets shot. Our position is masked. Okay. What does that do? Okay. Um, okay. That was interesting, that animation there. I'm just finding all of this interesting. Um, right. Um, let's just keep moving forward. Um, I can't see anything at the moment. We'll just keep moving up. Um, Eyes on a hostile patrol. There. Okay, so we've got the mech. The mech is in there. And the other... Wide. Widely spread. So that's six of the seven guys. So if I can take them all out here, that would be amazing. Do I even run into the other guy? Okay, let's move up. Okay, he does not have cover. He does not use cover. So keeping him as far back as possible is probably the best idea. So we're just going to leave him there and get him to hunker down. Uh, he cannot hunker down. Okay, so never mind. We're just going to end the we're just going to use the end turn feature to end the turn instead. Time to motor. Okay. Nope. Want that. A 
move him there. Location confirmed. Just so he gets his extra ability anyway. And end turn. Affirmative covering the watch. Okay. They're walking out that door. Okay. Let's open this door here. Um, and walk into the That's genetics funny. labs. And hunker down there. Um, walk forward like this. And put on overwatch. Uh, move forward like that. And put her on overwatch. Um, move this guy forward and put him on overwatch. There's not really much point in putting her there. Let's put her on overwatch. Let's put him on overwatch. Um, let's just walk him in here. See if that will do anything. That should be good. Okay. Um, and then walk. Nope. Don't want to walk. No. Okay, let's run her Get like that. Okay, that's always good. Um, end turn. Okay. That's good. So we could run these guys into the window, which would be good. And... Um, yeah, okay, we've got quite a nice... Ah, uh, I can't quite get into the window without them being spotted. However, I can get this guy to Close there. Okay, how is the shots? 79, so we're just going to put her on overwatch just because that's not exactly what I wanted. Okay, that guy's got a lot better shots, and so has this guy. Actually, let's use an send you a grenade. What we'll do is we will use the heavy weapons and send you a grenade once they've bunched up a bit, I think. We want to aim at one of these guys in the front here. So I'm going to have to go for the 90 shot on the mech. Armor piercing. There we go. Seven damage. Okay. It also stunned him for two turns, which is good. So, just open fire for a bit. And the index also gets to move, and so do the vipers. Um, okay. So what I can do with this is go like that. Right, let's just move it like that so the car gets in the shot. Um, so that should damage both of those two, which is good. And put a fire zone across there. Okay, so they're both on fire and they both should die next turn. Um, okay, so I get to shoot again. Okay, so probably what I want to do is I then want to put another... No, I just want to put a normal grenade into them. Okay, and then that should be it, yep. Okay, so yeah, that reveals that guy and puts them out of cover and also removes the armor for that guy. Um, right, okay, so we're just gonna keep her on concealment for now. Um, move this guy up. Okay. Okay. Um, let's use override. Override. So, how many abilities have I got now? So, I got an extra one. I got an extra two moves. So, um, what I can do is go like. Um, okay. So, I can hack this and then shoot as well. Okay, 
I also quite like the voice line. I've chosen the evil AI voice line for most of my guys because they <laughs> sound the coolest. Um, a failure to hack will result in all nearby enemies alerted to your position. Nope, don't want that. <sighs> he doesn't have a high hacking ability at all compared to any of my other guys. Um, right. And also that is not a high to hit radius. So let's just use that, I think. There we go. So that should then cause her to split. Right. Um, so she's now on the roof, the split version. So that now has more cover, so I can go like this and miss. Okay. Okay. That was very nice. Okay. You know that was good. Yes, I do. Position compromised. Okay. Um, let's just aim for the viper standing out in the open. This fight became very close quarters very quickly. And that's never good for us. Okay. There we go. One Viper dead. One Soldier dead. Okay. The mech's still stunned. He, get, he shoots at that one. Um, okay. That was a lot of damage, I think, if it would show me. Okay, so that's at least half health. Okay. Um, it's going to use its ability. Yeah, there we go. So i got to move my guys out there and reload them. Oh, it's three guys in there, isn't there? Okay. Not good. Um, right. Let's first, before we do anything else, let us go like that and slash the alien. There we go. Four damage, Grace Dodge. Okay. That's pretty good. Not too shabby. Let us move like that. Solid copy. Out of the way of the attack. Let's use the incendiary grenade. Um, no, let's not use the incendiary grenade. Um, let us instead uh, move out like that. Okay. And go like that into them. Okay, so it's a seven damage. It's not as much as I wanted it to be. Okay. Uh, let's move back to this position and then heal the guy that got hurt last turn. Go and then heal. There we go. Um, okay. That's most of his health back. Uh, let's move around like that. And have her reload. So we still have, should have two turns stunned on that. But we're just going to finish it off anyway. Or we could miss completely. Which is a good job I didn't aim at the other one. Because that would have been bad. He's just going to be on the outside of that, isn't he? Yeah, he was. I was hoping he'd be caught in the blast. Okay. Alien activity turn. Okay. That, one hurt a little. that definitely hurt you quite a bit. Is it going to be mech on mech? No. No, it is going to be mech on mech. 
Oh no, it didn't hit the mech actually. Menace one five, be advised. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window okay. to provide extraction. Iridium core extended magazine. There we go. That's what exactly what I needed. Oh that was the unknown. Uh, let's go restoration on everything. I don't know if anything else is damaged, but I just feel like restoration is a good time to use. Yeah, there. So we got the full health there. Okay. Let's go in. There we go. So we're going to have the mutons attack once before... I have time to react, which is not going to be good. Seems doable. Um, okay. 52. Miss. Of course it missed. Negative damage. Let us move her to there. I can handle that. And go like that. There we go. So now I can just put whoever remains on Overwatch. Which is this guy. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. If you say so, mate. Um, right. Let's put him on Overwatch as well. Okay. So this is the unknown that was coming in. So we got... Nothing there. Impossible. Four armor. Four. Okay, nothing there. Is this car gonna explode? Shit. I've just realized that car might explode. Okay. So the car's exploded, so there's nothing to worry about now. Um, okay, so now we know that it's not the Viper King. We're going to see grenade! if the incendiary grenade can do anything. Well, apart from remove the Overwatch, if it's immune to burning. So we shredded one part of its armor, Overwatch removed, but it's not on fire. Okay, salvo. Can I hit both of them in one shot? Nope. Um, I'm just going to put him on Overwatch. Uh, okay, so that did not do much for me. I can reload this. And what I can probably do is put him on ice for a turn. Okay, there we go. Put him on ice for a couple of turns until I figure out how to deal with him. Um, we're going to run Go her up around the side, Got so we're going to outflank. <sighs> there we go. Axe throw. Um, grenade. Okay, not wide enough. Um, uh, it's not a good shot. However, that's a pretty good throw, so we'll go with that. Nope, missed. I might as well try and take the shot then. Nope, same again. That is not good. Okay. Draining ammo fast. Let's reload. There we go, one piece of armor shredded. So that's half of his armor shredded. One piece of armor shredded, that's always good. Heal, Dr. Feelgood. Okay, the frost grenades are so useful when it comes to new enemy types. I'm just gonna take out all the enemy types I know how to deal with and I'm just gonna freeze you. 
Let's move forward. Uh, let's move this guy forward and then fire him. Let's go like that. Oh no, I aimed at the wrong person. I should have aimed at the other one. It has done a lot of damage, so if that when that does come out of um, unfrozen, it will. I will be able to deal with it pretty effectively. Okay, missed. Right. Okay. Um, let's move him like this. And oh, what can I hack? Ah, we want to hack that, don't we? We actually do want to get a move on because we still have to get this guy out of here in six turns. I forgot we're not just playing a death match here. We are actually trying to complete a an objective. Uh, hanging soldier permit. Let's load to alien facility. There we go. Okay. Okay. That's good. Uh, let's fire a rocket that way. There we go. There we go, so that's dead now. So everything is now dead. What? We all saw that thing go down. Now what the hell is it doing? Um that's I didn't know it could do. Moving to Overwatch. That is annoying. No problem, boss. Might actually get some kills in now. Here, catch. Right. I can't see it through the smoke, that's the only thing. I th that must be it. Okay, let's move. Okay. Let's go shred some armor. There we go. That gun is amazing. Okay, just move in. Just everyone attack it. At least we know that don't have to deal with now we just have to deal with something else. That's good. Okay. Let us move up and take care of the objective. Okay. On the move. Right. We did a load of damage that entire turn. So we're just going to move further and further this way towards the objective, just in case there is like another enemy located somewhere. Um, Unlike the rest of you, this unit doesn't get winded. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, you jumped over the top? It comes with jetpacks as normal. That's good. Okay. We finish this with plenty of time to spare. If there's no more enemies, that is. On Overwatch. Okay. Let's go in. What's over there? Okay. Got the VIP in tow. Moving to evac. Menace one five status confirmed. VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction point. Yep. So let's get out of here. Right, just moving all these guys up now. Moving on up. Affirmative. Okay, let's get going. <sighs> right, let's go. So I'm just going to lift these guys out. Oh wow, that was impressive. That was definitely impressive. Copy that. 
<laughs> yeah, that, that was more than impressive. Let's see where we kind of end up. <sighs> Moving on out. Four turns left. We're doing amazingly for time. <sighs> this is a boring bit, just gathering all the troops and pushing them towards the objective. Well, I ain't meeting them this turn. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. That could have turned up a couple of turns ago. For is Make it a bit more exciting. I'm going. Okay. Let's go. Let's get the that guy out. We're just calling down the ropes. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Haha. <laughs> Extract all XCOM operatives. Complete. Ready Let's get out of there. So we now got a new corpse to examine. It's going to be interesting. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That'll do it. Haha. <laughs> Didn't even have time to call in reinforcements. I was just out of there. In and out. Really quick. <sighs> that that new thing, I don't know what it was called, was unexpected. I was not expecting to run into one of those. Probably should have been, but I wasn't. <laughs> it was new. It was interesting, though. It, that ability to, after I killed it, to just come back to life. Annoying. That's going to be annoying as hell to fight if there's a lot more de going on. <sighs> okay. Well, let's see. Oh look, there's the there's the sparks. It's on this side, it's right at the back. Okay. I wonder what happens if you had a squad full of sparks. I should probably build that. See if see what happens. All right. Okay. Oh, we got one promotion over here. Ah, ever vigilant. Yes. There we go. Okay. Codex brain, iridium core, extended magazine, and facility Hello, lead. Commander. There we go. So we got ourselves a new person to play with. So we can put over there, and she can help with the coil. Overload. However, one thing that we can also do is we can power conduit iridium core. Ah, so that doesn't actually. We need. Oh, we need a lot more stuff to keep that upgraded. Anyway, um, but apart from that, we've got a couple of other. Oh, we didn't collect the armor. Okay. Best efforts to resist our intrusion into the advent network. We somehow came away with okay. a set of coordinates leading to an otherwise So, apart certainly keep us on the move one way or another. Commander, now that we've built the shadow chamber, we should be able to complete a more thorough analysis of the alien artifacts and data we've been recovering. Hey, Commander. Okay. So, with what we've done so far, Okay, so with what we've done so far is that we are, that should be it for this episode. So I hope you've been enjoying the video so far and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.